Hello, this is a guide on how to beat the 1.04 post-game Amalias. To unlock the Amalias, you first have to go to Fort Estania and Cornea. For this guide, I try to do them with minimal changes to my existing teams. I like my teams and don't want to have to redo them but some fights will require slight modifications. For this first fight, I'm using my Elaine Cavs team but I turn off Elaine's rapid order because Amalia is slow anyway and we need the damage from Double Spinning Edge and Double Hawkeye. Here is the rest of the team for reference. There is some RNG. How well you do depends on if you get crits, but you should always win with this setup. This is true. Huh. Here. Uh, uh, as well. huh. if you can. Is that better? Huh. We can do this. Looks like we won't be needing that second spinning edge from Elaine after all. Winning this fight unlocks the other Amalias. There is an Amalia in each nation. Five total Amalias unlocked. Beating all of them will respawn the initial Amalia, allowing you to redo the entire thing. The first of the five Amalias is at Cornea. Go south of Arver Harbor. I use my Triple Fairy Elemental Roar team as the basis for all five Amalia fights. For this first fight, the Sainted Knight makes Amalia hard to kill. We have to waste her PP, and this can be done through Rage of the Fairies and Icicle Dart from Aramis. Add an Amalia to the team for more damage. Here is the rest of the team for reference. The Sainted Knight uses 2 PP on Rage of the Fairies. I have faith in you. I got you. And 2 more on Icicle Dart. Set Sylphic Wind to whichever row Amalia is on. For the next fight, head to the Colosseum. Amalia is next to it. For this fight, put a Legionnaire in the team. I also realized I didn't have Plume on my Druid. Switch that in. Next is Elheim. Go to Fort Eris, then run north. You can use the exact same team. It's not optimal, but as long as we win.
For Bastorius, go to Devolpus Harbor. Then run north. We can use the same team for this fight. If you want, for better results, you can switch Sylphic Wind to Primus Edge because of Spell Reflect. The last Amalia is at Albion. Go to Burberry Town. She's at the bridge to the west. I tried to clear this fight with minimal changes to the team, but the results weren't consistent. So this is the final setup I ended up with. The only lineup change is the switch of Legionnaire for Featherbow. We want the blind from Featherbow to counter two skills. First is Ground Punisher, Amalia's start of battle skill. If this hits your Rosalind or Druid, it will disrupt the elemental roar sequence because your characters won't have the required PP. Secondly, we want to blind Heavens Asunder because it will wipe out your team. The enemy team also has two reflects, but we want to use Sylphic Wind to get rid of the annoying tanky characters that protect each other. To do this, we will use Rage of the Fairies on the front row. It will stun two of the three front row characters. The third one has Invincible which he will use, leaving him with two PP. To clear the remaining PP, we will use Defensive Curse on the front row, forcing the Feather Shield to use Mirror Weakness, leaving him with 1 PP and unable to reflect magic. Sylphic Wind should clear the front row, leaving the back row vulnerable to Elemental Roar, which will clear the two angels in the back. The last threat is Amalia, and we only have one damage dealer left. It's Amalia versus Amalia. The problem is, our Amalia will be stunned by Phantom Kick. To solve that, we put our Amalia in the back row. Here are the characters for reference. The Owl. The Featherbow. The Druid. Rosalind. And Amalia. This is it, the final fight. Rosalind starts with Rage of the Fairies, stunning two units in the front row. The enemy Amalia uses Ground Punisher, but is blinded. The Druid uses Defensive Curse, forcing the Feather Shield to use Mirror Weakness. Now he can't reflect. Rosalind goes into her Elemental Roar sequence, starting with Sylphic Wind. Elemental Roar kills the remaining enemies, leaving only the enemy Amalia alive. This skill will one-shot our team. That's what we have the second blind for. That is all. Hope this was helpful for you. Thanks for watching.